Okay. So there's where we're at, Pottstown Elementary School. This building was built in 1937. I'm at Pottstown Elementary School in Middletown, Ohio. Hopefully you can hear me. If y'all can hear me, say you can. Let me know if you can hear it, hear me talking or not. It's supposed to be extremely haunted, they say. I guess haunted with kids from the past. Okay, good. I <clears throat> wasn't for sure if you could hear me or not. But basically, this used to be the music room, and they kind of turned it into the doll room. I think they said this was a library and they basically just turned it into part of the doll room also.
But <clears throat> anyway, this uh, school was built in 1937, and um, it was last used in 2000. That's when they closed it down. But it's been on numerous uh, TV shows. You can see back here that uh, you can see back here it's got the old lockers. These lockers were actually in the room. Uh, Sherry, yeah, it's supposed to be haunted by children. They say one of the children that's in here is somebody named Sarah. They've uh, talked with to before. And there's been numerous people that uh, it's called her laughing and talking and stuff like that on camcorders and recorders and all that good stuff. It's pretty odd how this uh, how this was built. Because actually the basketball gym and the cafeteria is in the basement. I'm actually the only one in this building. There's uh, I've got my two pugs down in the room that's heated. There's one room kind of heated, and that's where I have my dogs at. chalkboards. The guy who actually purchased this old school, uh, let me read your answer here. Have you heard or seen anything since you've been, been in there? Now, basically, as I mean, um, I haven't had really chances when I turned it on live. This is the uh, first time I've even been walking really around the building. So I haven't really done enough to even know if I'm going to hear anything. But I have all my, all my equipment down in the room that's heated. And um, so 
I'm just really just now starting. Hello? There's supposed to be a girl named Sarah? If there's a Sarah here, can you talk? Is there something you'd like to say? Now this room right here, they said, was the nurse's room. And supposedly they've gotten a lot of activity in here. Is there someone here that would like to speak with me? Can you knock on the door like this? Again, can you? Lock back. Hello? Someone down here? I hear something, but I can't tell what it is. dripping. <clears throat> That's what it sounds like.
it's a it's a two story building with a basement. The basement is used for the cafeteria and the gym. Uh, I'll post some photos of the exterior later on. But you can tell it's a quite old elementary school. It's probably about the size of, I would say, um, Vine Grove Elementary. Uh, but, of course, this building is a lot older than Vine Grove Elementary. Pretty much the entire structure is made out of concrete and brick. You can see some name up there, 1990. My first room. So this right here so far, but I, I mean I just been on the I just been on the uh, second story. Huh. Uh, Sarah was supposed to be. A girl that went to school here and it's I guess no longer living. Uh, they said her last name, but I don't remember her last name, whether it was Sarah. And uh, they're pretty sure, I guess, by the uh, evidence they've called to the pass that uh, Sarah is the one that haunts this, I guess, by getting evidence and stuff like that. They've actually had uh, the owner, the owner of the building of this um, played, a, uh, played a, a recording here just uh, a couple nights ago, and there was a girl laughing and giggling and stuff they caught on on tape. So that's pretty much the second story here. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go back down to the first floor. Okay, this right here, this is the actually the very front this front of the school right here, the double door. You can actually see the columns outside. And uh, if I can, if I can walk out here without getting locked down. See, I would like. What is the history on this? Okay, yeah, I didn't answer that. Um, but here's the name of the school right here. That's, that's the actual name of the, of the school. Oh, 
does happen. Okay. I'm not used to using this camera for going live here. This right here would have been the this is this would have been the bathroom of the uh, te teacher's bathroom is what this is. They said this. Um, because the school was built in 1937, it's kind of laid out very odd how it's built. It's not built like the normal day schools would be. I mean, who ever heard of a basketball basketball gym and cafeteria in the basement? Well, good. I'm glad I'm doing a good job. Maybe you can understand what's going on. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go down. I'm going to go down here in a second. I'm going to go down to the basement. And I'll show you the gym down there. Like I say, I've never seen a basement in a, or a gym in a gymnasium in a basement. Very odd. Now, this right here was the principal's room. You can see that uh, has the old intercom system back here. <sighs> That's some old. It's not heated in this building other than the uh, room that I'm actually staying in. And it's not heated very well. Where the dogs are located at right now. Um, it, it's pretty darn cold in this, in this school right now. Okay, so here's where we were just at, up there, this goes up, okay, and then you can see it goes down to the basement right here. So let's take and go down here in the basement. So they say that they don't have any records of anybody getting killed here, but they said a girl, there was a story that the girl fell from the two-story up here, okay, from the two-story up there down to the basin area right here. And... Um, they said that she didn't die here, that she had actually died at the hospital. I don't know if it was a couple of days later or whatever, but but there's actually not, you know, they don't have any records of anybody ever dying here or anything other than this girl getting badly hurt and then dying at the hospital. So here's the gymnasium. You can see uh, it's old and like I say, this is actually in the basement area, which makes it very odd. I guess that is, I don't know, that's supposed to be their mascot, I guess. I 
I guess that it looks like a Horton. It's got a pot belly on it. <laughs> Be chief little bull. The old stage up there. You can see the gem right here. I'm at the, I'm at the very end of the gem right here, looking back. Family Corno set. Ha, oh, boy. You're going to get that one out there. Okay, so head back over this way. You can see that stairway going up. This would be the stage here. And then going over here is where the cafeteria is at downstairs. I'm surprised this place was even open in the year 2000. I couldn't imagine eating here. <laughs> Just looked so, I don't know, grim and old TV. Yeah, it is narrow. I guess built back in the 30s, that's how they built things. And of course, it would have been mostly, I guess, all elementary school people. But still, I just couldn't imagine going to school here and being in this small place. Now you can see where the old... This is where the old uh, places to cook at here, where they used to have the fryers and stuff. Been removed. But this was this was the old cafeteria right here, where they, or the kitchen where they cooked at. Uh, Bob, I'm in. Um, um, Poss Town Elementary School in Middletown, Ohio. Uh, this school was built in 1937 and it closed in 2000. Um, supposedly, supposed to be very haunted here. It's been on several national TV shows and, uh, I'm staying here all night. I have a room here. There's one room here that's kind of heated. Um, <laughs> not very well. That's where my dogs are at now. And I'm, on the, I'm the only one in this building. So if I hear something in here, I know it's only going to be me. Yes, Bob, I'm staying tonight. I'll be here. 
I'll be here tonight, and then I got to go into Cleveland um, for a manager's meeting. I'll be up there all week in Cleveland, and I try to pick out places to go to um, every so often, and this one's going to work out because it's actually on my way up to uh, Cleveland, and I've heard a lot of I've read, read a lot about this place. I figured it'd be a good place to come to. Um, yeah, thanks, Bob. I don't look forward to going to Cleveland, though, because it's supposed to be really cold up there. Now, this right here was the cafeteria. Is where, this is where the cafeteria is at. So, <laughs> I don't know. Not much of a cafeteria. They said that the, uh, when kids were eating, that the principal would stand over here in front of this uh, electrical panel and just kind of looked over the kids to make sure they wasn't getting in any trouble. So Bob, have you, ever, have you ever heard of a gymnasium and a cafeteria being in the basement? <laughs> That's, I just think it's so odd. So right now we're going up, this would be the first floor right here. Um, this is where you come in at right here. And over here is the room I'm staying at. And then it goes on back around over here we'll go over here in a second this is the buller room the buller room does not work um, I guess you know they unhooked it all whatever but it's got a couple of big bullers in here School is on one hour delay today. School begins at 10 a.m. or 10, 10 a.m. Huh? Some type of a water tank for the hot water boilers here. Okay, so this here is considered the first floor. In 1964, Mrs. Peterson, fourth grade. Oh, there, there's a website for this place right, right there. Yeah, interesting looking it up. There's where you can get the information. Why is it supposed to be haunted? Um, well, they say they really don't know because they don't have any record of anybody dying here. But the theory has always been, I mean, I've done a lot of ghost hunts and this makes sense. They said, you know, a place does, it doesn't have to have people to die 
to be haunted. It makes sense. I mean, it's because, I mean, a lot of times they think that people come back, if they, they come back to the places that, you know, that they once had been, or maybe they liked going to school here. Um, so, I mean, that's the reason why that we think that, you know, you know, people don't have to die there to make the place haunted. And I, you know, I, I believe that it makes sense. I mean, um, where people lived and had good times. I mean, you know, this has been around for since 1937. So there's a lot of people that's come through here, and there and there could be some people who died here too, but they just don't have any record of it. So the uh, when I was down the gym, the um, Indian the Indian was on the wall up there. They said the um, janitor had painted that, and he's since passed away. And they kind of think that the uh, janitor actually haunts this place also. Yeah, sure. You said not a very good haunted. Uh, not a very happy looking place to go to school. I agree. I mean, you can tell it's old and uh, I, mean, you, I mean, you can tell it was built in the thirties. Um, they definitely didn't build things back there for looks, I don't think, but it's definitely a very sturdy building. This is what they uh, use for their office right now. Um, you know, I'll show you. Now, okay, so there's what the there's what the school looks like from the outside, and you can tell how it's built. I mean, you can tell how I mean how it's built. I mean, it's an old looking school. Uh, here's some uh, 1965, 65 there. Yeah. Oh, those are different schools. I think that's cool. Huh. Uh, yeah, it's always been a school, Sherry. It's, it was built as a school and it's never changed. And, you know, like I was saying before, um, it uh, closed down in 2000. Um, they said they built a, you know, of course a new school down the road here and they just changed over. Um, so it seems like they got a lot of good use out of it if it stayed open that long. There's no jaggers room there. Okay, so this, this was a old bathroom here. And this is one of the still active bathrooms that they have here. One that you can use while you're ghost hunting. So basically this goes back around to where Tori was at before. You got teacher's rooms in there. You got the front here, okay. So let me go around and let me show you the uh, room that I'm actually staying in. And that was something else also they said that uh, the fire department uses this school to train dogs. Uh, they train their drug sniffing dogs and stuff like that. They will hide the drugs in the school in these lockers or wherever. And then they'll bring in the dogs and uh, the fire department and the police department train their dogs here. Um, okay, so this is the uh, luxury that I'm living in for tonight. <laughs> well, at least it has TV. It's got good looking dogs in here.
So it just it's just got some average just got some average beds, which I put actually I put covers on them so the dogs wouldn't uh, get hair and stuff all the beds. Um, it's it's warmer in here, but it's still not very warm in here. It's probably sixty something degrees in this room. Uh, that one heater just really not enough. I got all of my uh, ghost hunting stuff down here in this box right here. I have all kinds of ghost hunting. No, oh, no, that's not yet. Uh, you can see. I got my ghost hunting stuff in here, and then I got my uh, got my uh, portal here. This is the portal, newest device, one of the newest devices I have. So, this used to be old teachers' room, which they turn into, you know, a place to sleep at. And there's the dogs here. Dog sniffing for food. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside here and let me see if I can show you the outside of the building uh, where you can see it. You back, man? Okay, Bob, thanks a lot. I'll see you later. So this right here is the exterior right here of the building. And it's got the other wing back here. Nice and cold out here. I dread going to Cleveland this week as cold as it's supposed to be. Uh, you can tell out here just, you know, you can tell about looking outside here though how you know how old this this school is. It's right, this place is right next to a Dollar General store over here. So here's the uh, right side of the building. We got some old storage buildings back here. Yeah, it's not too bad on the outside of it. Um, in the daylight, though, you can you can see. I mean, it has a lot of peeling paint and stuff. But you know, overall, I mean, the building is you know pretty good shape. Um, problem they're gonna have here is, is because they're not heating the whole building. Um, you know, the cold and the heat. And such, I mean, it's going to make the building eventually, it's, I mean, they're going to have problems with the plaster and stuff like that, busting and everything, uh, just by this building getting so cold. Like, I, I mean, like I say, there's really not much, there's no heat in it other than that one room I have, and 
and it's not heated properly. Um, so, over a period of time, I mean, if there's no heat in this building, it's, it's going to get a lot worse. But it's still in pretty good shape, though. But, you know, of course, it was a working school up until 2000, which uh, helps out a lot. Now, but you can go over here and see, like, when you get close, you know, you, know, you can see the, you know, the severe peeling paint on this building. You know, I don't know if it, it might have had a playground in the rear. I'm not for sure. I to, let me walk over there and see if I can see anything. I mean, it could be that they had a playground or it could. I'm, I'm sure they did at one time. Or could they just, you know, they might just use the gym down there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They just used the gym for, uh, for a playground. This is the other side over here, and that's the right here. That's the room that I'm in over here that's lit up. Ooh, I mean, it's cold out here. Okay, here it is. Okay. So we end up finding it. Here's the old playground right here. Now there is a section of this there is a section of this uh, school that's blocked off. Uh, the residents, the people who own this school right there, that's where they live at. But it's blocked off from the rest of the school. You can't get, can't get to it. So there's plenty of, uh, there's plenty of places where you can uh, walk around and ghost hunt here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back inside and I'm gonna warm up. And then later on I'm gonna get some of this equipment out and I'm gonna go to some different areas in this building and see if I can get anything to communicate. Uh, did anyone ever hear or see anything out out there? I mean, I mean, um, I don't know about outside. I mean, but if you're talking about inside the building, I mean, yeah, there's been, I mean, just all kinds of uh, reports I've seen little kids and apparitions and I mean, just all kinds of uh, you know stories of where they've seen things in here. And like I say, I mean, there's been um, several big, you know, ghost hunting uh, shows and stuff like that to be here. I can't 
trying to open up the door here. Dog's barking. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to turn it off. Uh, 